case of mixed messaging. Dr. Marty McCary penning an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal, quote, COVID confusion at the CDC decisions on boosters relied on data from Israel. Why isn't the U.S. producing this research? Well, it's a good question. Dr. Marty McCary, John Hop Johns Hopkins Medical Professor and Fox Business Contributor joining me now. Doctor, always great to see you. Let's just start there. Well, good evening, Jackie. Some of the best data has come out of Israel, and the only cluster randomized trial on masks comes out of Bangladesh. Where is the United States of America? We spend $4 trillion on health care, and the CDC has a massive budget of $15 billion and 21,000 employees. I think if ever there was an indication that our CDC has failed us, it's the lack of its ability to report meaningful data. So as a result, we're flying blind with boosters and mm -hmm. natural immunity and COVID vaccination outcomes with kids. What's interesting to me is that the Democrats have the narrative, we're following the science. It is all about the data, yet they're not using that data because if they look at it on the, the correct time scale, for example, it won't support the direction that they want to go. It seems to me like it's a little bit backwards where they're interpreting the data to support the outcome they want. Well, I'm careful to avoid uh, anything partisan or political commentaries, but what I will say is the data the CDC put out on natural immunity was not just dishonest, it was manipulative. They basically said that vaccinated immunity was better than natural immunity. Uh, by looking at a narrow two-month period in one state of Kentucky when they've got data on 19 months out of 50 states. So they were manipulating the results really to support a foregone conclusion. That is intellectually dishonest, and it conflicts with the data from Israel. And we're talking about boosters. The White House is talking about it. Um, the immunocompromised are, are in the process of getting them now. And there's a lot of question about whether or not Americans need them, healthy Americans, that is, um, and if there is enough protection from the vaccines that we've already received. And so you wonder, do I keep going and getting additional jabs in my arm? Do I need it? I mean, I, I would have to see some data that really supports the fact that I need that. Well, the White House certainly got heavily criticized within the medical community, and including uh, in that, I would say, were the two top FDA officials who resigned, including the head of the FDA's vaccine center. They said, look, uh, the data really wasn't there to support the plan. Now, the contrary argument would be that they were preparing for boosters in case the data subsequently shows that we need boosters. Since that time, the only data we have is that an additional booster in people over 60 reduces an already very low risk of hospitalizations. So we may very well recommend a booster shot at some point for people over 60, mm. but you saw the two top the FDA officials saying, we don't believe in boosters for the general population as of now. That was a powerful statement yeah. coming from them. I can speak from personal experience with people that I deal with on a daily basis, and I feel like the push for boosters has created a little paranoia, a little panic. Um, I even know of several folks, and I'm sure this is happening more than just the people that I've spoken to that have literally gone out if they got the Pfizer shot or the Moderna shot and they're just getting a J&J &J shot as a booster. I mean, to me, when I start hearing that and there's no recommendation to do anything like this, it, it starts to get scary. It is, and right now we need to be focused on one singular message with broad bipartisan consensus, and that is the non-immune adults in America, those who have not been vaccinated and have not had COVID, need to get vaccinated. All these other things are right now taking away bandwidth from that important message. So many argue that these are distractions, cloth masks and five-year-old kids, mm. mandating the vaccine in children in schools in Los Angeles, uh, and the booster conversation right now are taking away from this important message that we need more Americans vaccinated who are susceptible. I hear you. Get to the heart of the matter, which is if you're not vaccinated and you haven't had COVID, you really need to consider getting the vaccine if you haven't already. Dr. McCary, great to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie.